great power. No, this is the saying. With great power comes great responsibility. That was the saying. So the minute you start making money, the minute you start elevating your financial lifestyle, you start obtaining responsibilities that you did not have when you were poor. And I think this is the one of the biggest obstacles that broke people face is the, the tragedy, the reason why, the, the circumstance that has you poor, broke, whatever, right? Usually it's not the circumstance that they have trouble overcoming. It's actually the power that you get once you're out of that. And if you've been living your whole life broke, paycheck to paycheck, every dollar counts, so to think, you know, you're trying to scrimp and scrap and save and, you know, you're, you're, you're doing all this stuff. If you operate like that for so long, you start to make sense of that reality. So the moment you drastically change your income and now you're debt free, great credit, good cash flow coming in. Now you got a lot of money to sit on. You have a new problem. What do I do with the money? How do I impact people? How do I serve? Um, how do I protect the money? The minute you start making money, oh my God, the, the, the amount of new challenges you face. I got to have a will. I need a trust. Does my husband trust me? Does my wife trust me? Does my family trust me? Do I trust my family? Do I trust my wife? Do I trust my husband? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. New conversations. It's kingdom stuff. And now you're like, I have a business. Do I trust my employees? Do I trust my CFO? Do I trust my CEO? Do I trust myself with all this money, with all this responsibility? Never had it before. Now I need life insurance, protection. I need business insurance. I need liability insurance. I need health insurance. I need the house insurance. I need insurance, insurance, insurance. Everything, right? Protection. Now you're like, wait, I can't stay here. I got to scale up because if I don't scale up, Uncle Sam's going to knock me to pieces, tax me small business owner, I need to be able to scale up so I can get past the new hurdle, which is having money, not knowing what to do with it, having money, having to protect it. Ooh, that's a that's tough place to be. And sometimes people would rather just stay broke because at least you don't have to worry about other people. When you're broke, the only people you have to worry about is your immediate family. But the moment you start getting into financial freedom with responsibilities, right? See, me as a 25 year old, I'm now, I now have an obligation. I now have a responsibility for thousands of people that watch my channel to give them authentic, effective, truthful, honest, transparent financial information. That is a big responsibility for a 25 year old to bear and say 75% of my audience are more than double my age, right? That is a serious responsibility. And not let alone all the stress that comes with it. The stories, oh my God, the stories that my clients tell me. My mom died, my husband died, my, my wife left me, I got the child support, this, my, my son passed away, my daughter passed away, and this, and this, and this, and I have to take that all in. I got to process that on these hour phone calls. All that, all that tragedy, all those challenges. So now I got thousands of people's stories that I need to listen to, interpret, step into their shoes for that hour that I'm with them on the call or the two hours or however many calls I have with that person. And now I got to follow up with them. I got to stay up with them. I got to continue to serve them. I got to move them to the next place, right? Of, of financial freedom, of, of abundance and wealth and giving and cheerful and abundance, right? I gotta keep them moving. But then I gotta worry about my own health, my own family, my own friends, my own personal relationship. So I gotta operate in the same 24 hours that you have and that I have. I have to operate my life, I have to keep my life in order. I have to keep my finances in order. I have to protect my finances. I have to stay educated, highly informed. Whoa. Most people 
will not make that journey, will not take that leap. And that's why the grave is the most wealthiest place on planet Earth. Because people are not willing to step out of their shell, to step out of their pains, make it about the other person, become a king, become a queen in your own right, and then be a cheerful giver and be a servant leader. Servant and leadership, not just serve. It's not enough to just serve. You also have to lead people, right? And you get the next person, you get the next person. They become your successor so that you can perpetuate and create a new culture within your culture that only operates as kings and queens. They won't know what poor is because they only know kingdom. They only know queen, king. That's all they know, servant and leadership. Imagine taking a, a two-year-old that starts speaking for the very first time and the only thing you tell them all day long from two to, from two to 18 is, I am, I will, I must, I do, I be, I am, I'm this, not, not, oh, you know, you can, you can do whatever you want, son, daughter, you can be whoever you want, you know, you, um, you know, go to school, get a job, uh-oh, go to school, get a job, get educated, save your money, um, um, don't talk to strangers, yet strangers have all your money, don't talk to strangers, uh, uh don't do this, and, oh, don't, don't, don't look at that, that's a scam, Oh, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. Dude, you're molding a child to be limited thinking. Limited thinking. But if you, if you approach it in a way where you let them know you are a king in a mighty kingdom. You are a queen in a mighty kingdom. And you have the ability to serve and lead on planet Earth over the next hundred years, possibly right? And if you do the right thing, you live a righteous life, if you educate yourself, you think for yourself, son, daughter, think for yourself. Evaluate, educate, take the time, be patient. Wow, that's all they know. They won't know about a penny saved is a penny earned. That'll be garbage to them. They won't look at money as a limiting thing that they can only have this, that, 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 that they can only be this or they can only study this. No, their, their thinking goes on new levels, new levels, becomes intense. So with great power comes great responsibility. That's the point.